Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking you through this look step by step. This is a very easy, simple, minimal, classic, and bold fall makeup look. Yeah, it's very minimal but bold at the same time. I feel like anybody would look good in this look. I feel like having a more minimal eye and the bold lip really makes the lip pop even more and I feel like it's so perfect for this time of year. So I hope you guys enjoy following along. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Please subscribe and let's get started. I really want to use the Catrice foundation, but it is a little bit more full coverage than what I'm wanting to do today. So I'm going to mix it with some moisturizer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream with the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. So first what I'm going to do is just pick up the moisturizer on my hand and just dot it around my skin. Just leave it like that and then I'm just gonna grab a brush with the Catrice foundation and pump it right here on the back. I'm gonna just dot this around the face and then just start blending them together. If you want something to be a little bit more accurate, you can mix it together on the back of your hand first, but I just don't feel like having to grab a makeup wipe and clean off the back of my hand. So I'm just blending these together. It's giving a nice natural finish. It is still pretty full coverage, but it did sheer it out a little bit. I probably could have gone in with more moisturizer and less of the foundation, but still very pretty. I think it's a little bit more of like a dewy finish. And now for concealer, I'm gonna use the one that matches this foundation. This is the Catrice True Skin Concealer. Again, I have the shade Warm Beige. And I'm going to pop this under my eyes right here and dot right here. I'm gonna use the FO3 brush from Sigma to blend this in. I go with just a little bit more. I'm really like warm right now, so I feel like my cheeks are a little bit more pink. So I'm going with just a little bit more. I'm really puffy too. My fingers are really swollen. Some days I'm just a little bit more swollen. I know there's gonna be comments being like, it's because of this X, Y, Z, something with eating, but I've definitely been very in tune with that just to see. Maybe it's just the humidity. I just feel like some days I run really, really hot. <laughs> and today is one of those days and it doesn't help that I have to wear the sweater. I'm loving the finish of that. I just wanted a little bit more of a natural complexion today. I mean, I still wanted like foundation and to be like made up and all that kind of stuff, but I like mixing that in with just a little bit of moisturizer to kind of shear it down and give it just a little bit more of a natural appearance. You can do this with any foundation that you have. So if there's a foundation that you have that you love, or maybe you don't, like maybe you're kind of sick of it and you wanna try something different with it, try this, I think you'd really like it. I'm gonna use the Jason Wu Ready Set Matte Face Powder. This has been one of my go-to favorites recently. So I'm gonna apply this wherever I get oily. So especially right here, this is like my oiliest area is like right in the center of my face. Get the nose forehead and right in here like whew, this like little bridge area between my eyebrows it gets fiercely oily so for bronzer today i want to use the hula bronzer i haven't used this in a really long time this is just the original one i'm gonna go in with this and bronze up my skin now there have been times where i use this and it makes my skin patchy i'm gonna be really bummed if that does that today because i'm not in the mood <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't do that I'm gonna start down here and see kind of what happens. Applying just a little bit at a time on my cheeks, keeping it pretty far back because I don't wanna to apply too much and have it go patchy. I don't know what it is about this bronzer. I just think it's really, really beautiful. And anytime I see someone else use it, I'm like, I need to use that more, but more times than not, it goes patchy. And today we're good. It's going on really, really smoothly. So fingers crossed. I think we're in the clear. That looks really nice. It's like the smoothest my bronzer has looked in a long time, so I don't know. I'm gonna add a little bit more depth to the bronzer and go into Bone Beige from MAC. It's like a contour powder. They call it their sculpting powders. So I'm gonna use my Smith 112 brush. I just wanna hit it right, right there, just to give a little bit more zhuzh to the contour. And then for blush, I really wanna use this one from KVD Vegan Beauty. It is in the color Honeysuckle. This is a gorgeous everyday, kind of like a peachy blush. I love it. Clean off my brush. Just picking it up on my Sigma F40. Apply that. It's so beautiful. It's such a good classic color. 
for my skin tone. I'm gonna bring it up on the forehead, nose, chin, and my neck. And then I'm gonna go into the Champagne Pop highlighter from Becca. So apparently Becca teamed up with Smashbox and they're keeping like all of their classic products. I'm excited about that because now we can still buy them. So yeah, this is just a mini size. I don't know if they still have a mini size or what's going on with that, but I'm gonna apply that here. And if you're curious, like why would I even say that if you don't know like what's going on with them? They like basically shut down their brand. I forgot when it was, was it the summer or the spring? So everyone's really bummed because they've got some of the best highlighters ever. But now I guess it's like a Smashbox collaboration, like a permanent collaboration. Very interesting. What are your thoughts on that? Some people made some very valid points about how they're upset because they made it seem like they were like gone permanently. So everybody like stocked up on their stuff and everything like went on sale. So people really stocked up. And now just a few months later, they're back. I mean... Fair enough, I hear you on that one. But I'm also excited that you can still get their highlighters because they're beautiful and I feel like they're kind of like, I don't wanna say the OG because they're not like Estee Lauder Heat Wave and MAC Ultra, like their highlighters. Those were like kind of like the two first ones that really come about in my head. Those are the ones that I really think of as like the OG classic highlighters. But I feel like these are one of the first that really just started up the whole highlighter game. So I don't know, let me know your thoughts. So before I move on to the eyebrows, I'm gonna set my face. I'm gonna use the Morphe setting spray. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna go over my eyebrows with some powder. Kind of take away any dew so I can go in and do my brows. Sometimes I get comments saying that I'm too far away from the camera. This is as close as I can get, honestly, because I've got a table here and this is zoomed in all the way. I want to do very bold brows today, but not like, I don't know, brows are really hard for me. I want them to be like very full and fluffy, but it's hard for me to do. So I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna use this one from e.l.f. This is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. Looks like this. And it's one of those like ultra fine ones. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna hold down pretty far on this because this is a very pigmented brow pencil and I don't want it to go on too intense right off the bat. Okay, I've got the bottom there and I'm gonna start turning this sideways and I'm gonna flick upwards in the direction that the hairs are going just to fill in the rest. And see, I kind of turned it more this way now that we're doing the tail because that's the way that the hairs are growing. Blend all that out. So far, so good. And now I'm just working on the front. I'm holding really far back. I've got this horizontally and I'm lightly just filling this in vertically. I'm happy with how that looks for now. And then I'm gonna go in with a brow gel. I'm gonna use this one from Rimmel. This is in the color, I think it's like dark brown or something or medium brown. This is the wonderful brow. Looks like this. And it's got a very small little spoolie, just like that. When I use this, I always go like this. So it kind of like raises my brow hairs better. I don't know, it's just a thing I do. So, and I feel like I can get the hairs and not my skin. I think that is the trick. If you get this all up on your skin, it's gonna go on very intense. So you wanna try your best to get only brow hairs. Okay, I feel like I need to fix the front on this one, but I'm liking it. Look at, this one turned out really nice. Okay, I'm really loving already how this is looking. I'm really happy with the face makeup. For my eyes, I wanna go very, very natural. I'm gonna use the Jason Wu eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use the tiniest bit because I don't want too much color on my eyes. This does match my skin tone better than the Painterly Paint Pot. Painterly Paint Pot goes a lot more cool toned on me and really, really light. And I know they have other shades, like they've got soft ochre, but that goes too yellow on me. So I literally just touched the top of this. I didn't even squeeze any extra out. I'm just gonna use that. It's basically like whatever's left over on the packaging just to give me a base so that nothing creases, but I'm not going in with any like crazy colors on my eyes. So I don't feel like I need a lot of this. And I also don't want a lot of this because it does have like coverage and I don't want 
too much of that either. So, getting that all over the eye. Set with powder. I'm just using whatever's left over on this brush. I think what I'm gonna do is just grab the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit and go in with a fluffy brush and pop this on my eyes. This is like one of my favorite things to do is just apply bronzer as your eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with this and then lightly sweep this on the lid. I, I'm holding towards the middle and then work my way up into the crease. This is a nice like neutral bronzer so it's not too warm, it's not too cool. So it's giving me some warmth and depth at the same time while also not being too dark for my skin tone. Go with a little bit more on this side because that's like exactly the right amount of deepness that I want for the eyes. Love it. That's a really nice color for the eyes. That's really pretty. Just a nice little wash. So that's all I used. It looks a little bit more intense in the crease because I just built up a little bit more there. That's like a good representation of when I talk about how if you go in with a light hand and then just build up the color, it will build up and look darker even though you're just using the same color. That right there kind of shows you even just with a bronzer. I did a light wash on the lid and then built up the color in the crease with the same bronzer. And it looks like I've got two different shades on. Kinda, you're probably like, no bitch, that looks like one color. I'm gonna go in with an eyelash curler and just curl these up just like this. I'm gonna go with mascara. I'm gonna use the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I'm gonna try to be very careful because I think I kinda wanna just do mascara, but I do have lashes out just in case. We'll, we'll see where this goes. If at any time you wanna recreate one of the makeup looks that I show. If you don't wanna wear lashes, don't. Like, you don't need it to finish off the look or anything. That's honestly preference and preference only. I get messages every day saying that you love this look but you don't like lashes. It's like, that's totally fine, just do mascara. That's all you. I'm someone that I just prefer to wear false lashes, especially when I'm doing like a more dramatic look because I just feel like for me, it completes it, but that's not your style. Just leave it out and it's gonna look just as beautiful and it's gonna actually look more beautiful because it is your style for your face. You then customize that look for you. And that's what's so much fun about makeup is you can put your own twist on everything and then it's uniquely you. With all of that being said, I'm probably just gonna do mascara today because it bops right now. That looks really good. You know how some days you got like good mascara days and some days you're like, who burned off my lashes? Today, they're working. I'm gonna grab my highlighter, the Champagne Pop highlighter, and just with my finger, I'm gonna grab it and pop it right in the inner corner and right up on the brow bone. These Makeup by Mario lipsticks are making me so excited about makeup. Look at all of these shades. This is pretty for like holidays, but not the vibe today. Ooh, that's a nice true brown. I already did a very brown, so I think I need a little bit more color in my lips today. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with this one and potentially going with this one, depending on how it looks. This is the color Kristen. Isn't that just glorious? These lipsticks are incredible. Like the formula is so good. Um, the other one I was looking at is Amanda. It's basically the same color. It's just this has more berry red and this has more like berry purple. Before I go in with this though, I need a lip pencil. I wanna use something that's dark enough to give me a nice like border, but I don't want it to manipulate the shade. I have Night Moth from MAC, which is like my go-to deep dark lip liner. I'll just show it to you. I don't know if I'm gonna use it just because this would look perfect with that Amanda shade, but I don't want it to alter the shade. So I think I want to use like a brown. I'm going to use cork from MAC. This is just more brown. I think I'm going to use this and see how that goes because I'd rather it be more neutral than pull more plum. All of this changes if I decide I want to go in that darker shade. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to start down here. Go on the outer corner and connect. And I only overline on the bottom right in the center here. So this is all right on my lip line. And then here I go like right underneath and connect just to kind of give a little bit more of a shadow. Turn it on its side and blend it in towards the center of the lip. Use my finger and then I start on 
the cupid's bow. And then I follow it down on my lip line. This side is so weird. It like goes in out, it, it's weird. I always do this side first, just in case I do anything crazy. I can also do the same thing over here. So I just followed where the furthest part of the lip was and just connected it up into that arch there. And also back down to like where it is in the crease. I feel like this is even a vibe, just the lip liner. <laughs> Okay, turning it on its side and just blending it in. This would be a nice everyday look right here for fall. And pop like a lip balm on, ooh, bitch. That would be nice. But we're gonna go more berry today. Hopefully this works. If not, I've got like other lip liners that I can add in, but we're just gonna try this. This is Kristen, again, from Makeup by Mario. And I'm going to pop this here in the center and go over that lip line. Do the top. I do this. <laughs> So I can take this lipstick and put it right over the top of the lip liner. I don't always do this, but because the colors are different, I am. I'm really glad I didn't go in with that super dark vampy lip liner because it would have made this even more vampy. While I still wanted a bold lip, I didn't want it to be that deep. So I'm glad I went in with the brown. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work out, if there was gonna be some disconnect. If you do that, make sure you do go right on that edge. I'm not done yet, I have to fix this, but I'm happy with it because it looks like I lined my lip with something identical to this because I went over it and it's a nice dark berry. So it's got some color to it, but it's not like overly dark and vampy. If you want a very vampy look, let me know. I can do something kind of similar to this and do like a, like a really dark vampy lip and use the Amanda shade, let me know. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is just go back into the cork lip pencil and go over the edges and it's going to mix with the lipstick that we put on there. And this will make it all very cohesive. Now, you always wanna do this, just so you can get that inner rim of lipstick off of the inner rim of your lips because then it will go all over your teeth. So that way you can just make sure that that doesn't happen, especially if you're like going out and about and stuff. Okay, so this is the final look up close so you can see what it looks like. I really, really love this lip. I love that it's like a deep wine color. That's exactly what it is. It's a wine color. I'm loving the brows. I love the very simple eyes. This is definitely very wearable and I think that this is actually pretty easy to do. You just have to like nail that that lip and be very careful so that it doesn't look very wonky. But even still, you could even do something that's like a little bit more sheer, like a lip balm, but has this like tone to it if you wanted something like even more simple. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I got this, enjoyed me walking you through all of the steps. It really is just super, super simple and minimal, but very, very classic fall and just classic. I don't know, I mean, I, every look you can wear any time of the year, but I feel like especially right now having a very under eye and a very bold lip is just so fun for this time of year and going into the holidays too so yeah i hope you guys liked following along please subscribe and i will see you very soon bye